Mm. How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the... <laughs> I'm trying to piece together using the new machine. Okay, so the the I did readjustments. So the the microphone, I don't know. Sometimes it was hearing too much of the TikTok. I mean the clock TikTok because it wasn't banned yet in Congress. My TikTok clock. Anyways, ugh, okay. It's rainy. Pathetic. Pathetic. It's rainy still. It's promise of change. Uh, change. Goes to <laughs> always open for the paranormal investigation. So the it's it's kind of rainy, and I got a doctor's appointment again because I got all of these things lined up. I don't know why in the middle of March. It's like beware the Ides of March. So, um, it's just a routine one, but I'm gonna go over a bunch of stuff. I mean, this is like oodles of freaking stuff. It's like, you, they, get, they get these printout pages and it's like a little mini pamphlet and stuff. Oh my gosh. I just saw my urologist yesterday. This is the vlog part. <laughs> and, um, apparently he calls it recon. Recon, as in reconstruction. The reconstruction stuff, surgery, would probably not take it'd be a huge effort to do it but that's not the thing the thing is i might even not even be accepted as a candidate for some of these people that might be able to do it like uh specialists and also um i got weird scarring so it's just gonna turn into the same old same old but there was some cool ass news I don't have to carry around the bag no more. I'm doing, I still got the tube, right? But I can unplug the bag and just put a cap in it. <laughs> I'm gonna walk around without the bag. And every two hours, I better uh, uncork it. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's like, oh gosh. I got the bladder on that. It's like a beer keg. It's, it's a bunghole. I have a bunghole out of my belly button. It's, but it's like 500% better than carrying around this thing that everyone's like, what the hell is that? And I can actually put on pants instead of having to, well, I'm using my robe because, uh, you know, it's cold. <laughs> it's just easy. So it's all kind of good news. And in the midst of all that, I have, um, every once in a while I do the eBay thing and I saw something and I... You know, a long time ago, in 1988, I went on this. Uh, I went with religious pilgrims. We went there as tourists and came back as pilgrims. And uh, there's the Mother Mary appearing to these you know, peasant kids in this little town called Medjugorje. And it's all the rage. It was all the rage. It's still kind of going on with a couple of them grown up now, because that was 1988 when it started and it was a thing so we went there on one of those many 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 from all over europe and it was yugoslavia at the time which would have been a communist bloc country but not really um you know it was communist and uh it's not yugoslavia anymore because they had our civil war between the bosnia serbs which are kind of um orthodox christian russianish type and the uh the croatian side states which are uh catholic because it's right across the, the adriatic sea from rome and italy and in the middle of what was yugoslavia in sarajevo i was kind of near sarajevo but a little teeny little village in the middle of sarajevo that whole thing from the from the south was uh, infiltrated with uh, Islamic. So it was Islamic, Orthodox, and Catholic, and then it was communist, and that's why it was fractured. So beware that, what does that Zappa say? Religious theocracy. But anyways, I saw the little glow-in-the-dark Mary statue. Look, it's glow-in-the-dark. It's glow-in-the-dark. 
because I had one of these that it was bigger and it broke and I was like, hey, where is that? It's like you even have the hand. But this one, it's not really, it's the UV light makes it looks like it's glowing in the dark, but it's it's not really that glowy in the dark. It's kind of not, not as glowy. It, it looks glowy in the dark because of the UV light. It's from Mostar, formerly Yugoslavia town. Mostar, and I was in Mostar, so like, oh, I come and go. Yeah, I say prayers now because I can't think of all the. But anyways, I got a bunghole and I say prayers. That's the vlog, the news. Um, news. There's all kinds of stuff because it's big presidential election. That's like the most the 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 off the rails uh presidential campaigning is still i mean it's hyperbolic and hyper bleh, and it's even more so right because of all this stuff you know, trump is still facing like 91 um indictments now indictments is the court is saying there's enough to set a trial innocent until proven guilty but you are uh, up for a trial there's enough evidence to do a trial indictment is found guilty or innocent you know that's the indictment part but the well no the indictment part is you're enough to find trial no, I, oh i get that mixed up I'm, I'm watching all these lawyer shows and i i can't get the basic thing down but anyways he's up for 91 things so because he was indicted I'm eternal. I'm eternal it says because he was indicted for certain um mis uh misbehaviors crimes so since he was indicted and they're trying to set trial dates and it's weird because the judges are some appointed by him and it's kind of they're wishy-washy kicking it down the road trying to delay until after the election all that stuff but because he's indicted then it can go right up to the election time and even during the election and the trial can go on it's not like they would in avoid election time if charges weren't brought yet weren't brought up against him so if charges weren't made and here comes election time they would definitely stall it because that's a kind of a rule of thumb for the courts they don't want to be political and look at the supreme court we'll just throw that out the window so there's all that and the half a billion dollars he's definitely has to pay within the week in order for him to appeal certain cases now i get them mixed up already but there's immunity case but then there's the document case in florida which is kind of slam dunk since he had truckloads of boxes and he gave them a gruff about giving them back so lots to see unfolding but the judges are being pivotal players very political it's just mind-boggling and of course uh whatever you do to me i do to you so um the few documents which biden took back to his residence after he was vice president now they have a special committee and and the republicans on the Four. special committee they're in they're investigating and they're revved up now understand in the washington dc zone when people are holding these big offices, they're just inundated with all this paper, freaking documents and folders and everything, and they take some back and they read them. And, and after they're no longer in office, <laughs> you know, there's a few of them strewn about. So the key factor is, was it classified? Hi. Was it confidential? Was it top secret? Okay, so they're, they're arguing that in the... Uh, Biden investigation of classified documents, but it's all just a ruse to, because that's that's nothing. That happens all the time. But Trump's case is a world different. They had boxes, truckloads of boxes, and they took them quite intentionally. <laughs> and there was there's some in this New York residence. That I started talking about that. Anyways, you'll see. It's going to happen. So what else is happening? I know. Let's see on Hawaii News real fast. Because we have... Oh, 
Wait. Right here. See? Yeah. This guy went full shining. He went like Jack Torrance in the Overlook Hotel. With a knife, he killed his family of five and then himself. Oh my god, this is Hawaii! Ugh. But they found out, hey, why did you do that? He's mired in debt. So, mired is referring to very muddy water, so he's up to the mud hole in debt. And, um, I guess? Uh, that's just, and everyone in Manoa, this is Manoa, it's kind of a sort of basically nice neighborhood. And there's a picture of the guy. Oh my god, his family. It's like, Done. Jack Torrance. I want to live here and play forever and ever. Oh, he's in San Francisco there, so we'll bridge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, let's move. Oh, what's in the news? Oh, you know what's in the news is, um, uh, this doesn't work? What happened? Okay, sports. New Bose has a blast, so diddy 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 biddy 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 biddy. So there's still baseball. I'm kind of limiting. It's like, for me, it's like, uh, yeah, nah, whatever. So, there, damn, whatever. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, back in the day, baby. Back in the day. You remember 1976? Uh, oh, yeah, that was a year. 76. I'm gonna relax. Just get out there and play the hoot nanny band there. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. The move old over. move over. The old Poly Highway Ramblers. That's a mouth. Oh, they're bluesgrass. Okay. Dee -dee -dee -dee. I like bluesgrass. Well, after Montana, I have a hankering for bluegrass. Their bluegrass combo set to perform in the Pacific Room at Jefferson Hall of the East West Center. And it was like, what the hell are you doing? Jimmy in the Swamp and Freight Train. And wildfire and their one hit song killed and, and and the hit song that everyone loves salty dog blues roll in my sweet baby's arms Ooh, salty dog blues please play it alabama oh, sweet home alabama okay i uh, this guy's got one of those weird uh things that the teacher played when everyone was playing ukuleles okay never mind something like uh finger on the pulse ah oh there's a big honolulu festival Honolulu Festival. It's mostly for the Japanese tourists. They're just like, hey, come on, man. Make a big Japanese tourist thing. Okay, here we go. Oh, the political cartoon. I got me a mean new centerpiece for my kitchen table. Katie Britt, drama queen. I watched part of that. It was the Republican rebuttal, and she took it upon herself to do the rebuttal about Biden's State of the Union address, because it's like, attack, attack. <laughs> campaign so she attacked it all and she was, she was so it was drama i'm just a mom and i have a mom and i have kids as being a mom and your kids and my kids are coming to this kitchen table <laughs> but it was she pulled no punches and it was just like trying to destroy biden speech okay so what should we do here oh uh, 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 since we're on that one might as well just there's trailer homes well no gender free <laughs> Oh, there's two babies, pots of legal. Trump's civil suit, loss, prompts, panhandling. I, too, am amused and confused by a letter about Donald Trump. Trump hate amusing and confusing, February 18th citation. If the author had been paying attention to his TV, he must understand why a lot of people are concerned about the future of America. Take seriously Trump's threat to democracy site letter, February 11th. It is because the man himself proclaimed what he would do if elected. In his first two days, Trump would become dictator, pardon his fans now in jail, and destroy our constitution. Hmm. Fortunately, a New York court has ruled that he is forbidden from serving as an officer or director of any corporation in the state for the next three years. He must also pay a fine of $354.9 million plus substantial interest. That should keep him busy selling sneakers to his native followers and begging for their contributions. Penelope Cardoza Kahala. I think it, Penelope. Especially since you're talking in tutu voice. <laughs> 
<laughs> what can I say? Say, so, yeah, that's about this. That's a good chunk of it right there, right? For now, there's more to come. <clears throat> but um, that's the thing is, um, when he's out there campaigning and trying to collect, this is like tens of millions of dollars from contributors. And sometimes there's a big donor. And if you have a super PAC, you don't have to declare who's donating. It just goes into this big kitty of tens of millions of dollars. And if he uses it to pay off stuff, that's another crime. But we won't get into that. Anyways. I can't leave. I can't leave. I can. Aloha. Have a good day. It's only Tuesday. Aloha to you. Aloha. Okay. It's Tuesday. Aloha to you. Alrighty. Ah, uh, so it could be a good day. Okay, bye.